Welcome to the Review Preview Show, Week 3 on TJ with Darcy Evans and Paul Manuel. Gentlemen, how you go, um, TJ? You well? I'm very well, mate. I saw some fantastic football on the weekend in Division 1. I got to see a game, which is fantastic. I'll touch on that in a sec. Let's go straight into the results this week, gentlemen. Uh, thanks, of course, to all our good sponsors and, of course, the SA Football, your best read guaranteed. Did you check it out last week, boys? I did, certainly did. 160 very impressive. pages. Took me a while, eh? Yeah, very impressive. Three or four days in a row in the toilet, I read that. Uh, all right, starting with Tea Tree Gully, they are for real gentlemen. 1917, 131, Port District 11, 11, 77. A very strong win two weeks in a row. Yeah, They've yeah. knocked off two competition fans. Uh, Jen's thoughts? The yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, they're one of the top three this year, I reckon. Port yeah. District's the old steamboat, wouldn't be too happy down there either, so they're not doing that well this year, but uh, no, good on Tea Tree Gully. She yes. to Portland, but never mind. Oh, this is... Mitch Sandery has got <laughs> just going gangbusters. Yes. And, and we really rated Port Districts, or I did anyway. And um, Gully's now been good with Saints and Port Districts yeah. for two weeks. And they are just flying. So yeah. he's got them going really well. And beat them well as well. They did. Uh, certainly. Uh, Seven goals. Uh, yep. And uh, it was at Perderinga, so it would have been a big crowd on Anzac Day. And lots of great football on Anzac Day. Henley, 19, uh, sorry, Henley, 16, 17, 113. Ricky Steenbo, Steenbo. Portland, 6 12. <laughs> That's uh, about 48. I'll do one every grace. This that was the one. That's a 65 one. point win, gentlemen. Yeah, they had well, a bit of a. Hit I don't think they went round. anywhere, but yeah. No, they were he got the first round, but no, very good. Yeah, I'm not sure how many teams we can squeeze into our top three, but they might be around that mark too, eh? And Ten goal win, good result for Henley. Um, Portland, are they in a little bit of trouble? Uh, Zero two. They're yeah. in neutral, I'd suggest. Yeah. In great indeed. Um, they are obviously well, perhaps a five ten goal better team at home, but I still don't think they're. Uh, it's going to be enough against some of the teams they're going to come up against this year. I think they'll struggle. I think they'll be relegated. And if you ask Rick, he'll say you've been saying that for three years, Javor, but I think this year it might come to fruition. Okay. Yep. Uh, Goody Saints, great kicking 10 3 63 against Salisbury 7 7 49. A 14 point win, a narrow win there for Goodwood Saints, and uh, I think they did it all early. Goodwood kicked the first four of the game, and uh, Salisbury North battled hard, but uh, couldn't quite make it up. Can you just, we'll just click into that one, though. That was a good, that was some good over, wasn't it? They yeah, Goodwood. two in a row at home. And... Yep. But just looking at, again, yeah, so yeah, good with Dick, they kicked the first four goals of the game, um, and so that was sort of, a, they were able to withstand the, the, the distance between them and Salisbury North. Seven straight goals at half time to Goodwood probably uh, was, the, was the turning point. But, but look at Salisbury North's best players, gentlemen. Matty Sharp, I'm looking at the internet, not the paper, so it might be different. Uh, Shane Jordan, we talked about him, the great Alex Stenner, single four, four medalist. Evans, Joe Hansen, uh, that's, that's real quality, isn't it? it? Is you can great. build a team around those guys. Absolutely. And Eric Kells kicked a couple of goals, did he? Yeah, Kells, he uh, back at Goody Saints, he was there last year, but he had a little holiday, uh, was he at Tea Tree Gully? Or? He did, I mean, yeah. he was at Tea Tree Gully for a while, yeah. he went back to Goodwood last year. Back home, yep. Uh, so Goodwood, too good there. Next one, Sacred Heart, 14-7, Adelaide Uni, 13-9. I tell you what, that would have been an absolute cracker, gentlemen. It's a big game, and Sacred Heart have got up by four points. Yeah, I thought Uni might win at home. Yeah, gee whiz, um, indeed. I think LA Uni would be in trouble too. Yeah, you? the big so, Anzac Day crowd in the city would have hung around for that game. There would have been a huge crowd there. And really, really tight game, wasn't it? Four points. Yeah. Well, well done to Uni. Uh, sorry, to Sacred Heart. Uh, but Uni, uh, zero on two. Don't want to go back down to Div 2 like they were in uh, a few years ago. But uh, yeah. we're on Sacred Heart. Yeah, I tell you, Sacred Heart's still got plenty of good footballers. They. Uh, yeah. Let's not forget last year in the uh, grand final, Div 2 grand final, they, they had pain them on toast. They were 16 points up at three quarter time. The likes of your Jack Horn, Dan Flavel, there's good footballers floating around Sacred Heart. No one would want to take them lightly. But let's talk about the match of the round, gentlemen, because I, you know, just because I love the review and preview show, I went and checked it out. Payne and Noah Jr., 9 goals, 13, 67, knocking off Ross Trevor Hulk Allegiance, 9, 8, 62. That's a big win for Payne. Um, Paying them, that's their first win in Div 1. They were remembering in 2010 they only won two games. Ross Trevor have played in three grand finals in the last two years. They are a match hardened Div 1 football team, and that's huge for Payne. First, first win in Div 1, and they've got a big scout. Yeah, Ross Trevor. A, a real big one. Yeah. And look, like I said, I had a look at the game. At quarter time, uh, Ross Trevor were up three goals, four to one goal, eight, and I thought, Payne, you've probably kicked yourself out of the game. You can't afford to do that. And Payne kicked uh, six of their next seven scoring shots with goals. Um, and Payne just found a way, and through a late surge, I think they kicked the last couple. It was a year, it was, it was epic. Big, big crowd. Yeah, yeah, how many were there? Uh, I don't know, it's hard it's to say. Crowd, yeah. There's a lot of people parking their cars, over a thousand yeah. definitely. No, Fantastic nice. atmosphere, great. great. And, like, these clubs know each other well. I mean, Ross Trevor got seven or eight Paynham Juniors in their team. Yeah. A lot of Paynham people went to Ross Trevor. Mm. Um, a lot of the rich ones, anyway. <laughs> um, and look, 
I could talk a lot about Payne, but I've been encouraged not to with my club. But let's talk about Ross Trevor. They have got some class. Will O'Malley, just the clearance king in the midfield, fantastic. And young Homsch, brother of Jack Homsch from Port, from Port Adelaide. Now, boys, I'm old. I'm really old. I've been to a lot of football in my life. And I saw on the weekend probably the best mark I've ever seen in amateur league football. Right? That is a bit cool. Homsch got on the shoulders of someone and just... I've never stood on anyone's shoulders. I can't even climb up via stairs. He stood on their shoulders and was able to get a full body extension, arms up, and took a catch over his head. Wow. And I think one of our players must have said, shit, that's a good mark, because then he got a 25, got him with him, and he put it through. It was, it was amazing, breathtaking. The crowd applauded, Payne and Ross Trevor like so. Yeah, Taylor's almost free legend. It though. is on tape, yeah, and we is. are sending it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good work. Well, well done to Hopchi, and, and uh, you can be guaranteed when we win, we'll be sending you absolutely nothing. Uh, and how, how did Kamane play? He kicked five. Yeah, he, he was good. He was good. Um, it, it's hard. I didn't have a program in front of me, so it was hard to tell who was who from Ross Trevor. Um, Fantasia was good. Your uh, your nephew was a bit quiet, Lukey, but yeah. Uh, yeah. There Just there was one point. Um, Payton hit the front, and um, Ross Trevor got the ball in the in the back pocket and went from the back pocket, put it straight through the big white uprights, and pain, no pain and play within three or four metres of the ball. This, mm. I mean, they're spread from contest, their ability to move the ball. Um, it was such a big win because of the quality of the opposition for pain. And we didn't get carried away with it, but it's just nice to know our best football might be good enough to match well, it with the best in the division. Well, congratulations, pain. Well, nice word of pain. Yeah, no worries. I won't, I won't go into too much pain in detail each week, but geez, it was nice after going 2 and 16th last time we did one. It's nice to be around the market. Okay, I'm done. Five minutes for this park, it's 10 for. Well, maybe when you win a game. Can Ross Trevor and this week. Can Ross Trevor beat Tea Tree Gully? Yeah, will they bounce back? Tea Tree Gully, I'll tell you what, you're probably going to take them seriously. Are, are they sitting top? I'm not, I'm not looking at the ladder. I think they probably would be. Well, they're 2 and 0. And they've um, had two good wins. Um, Kenny and Teacher Gully on top, Ross Trevor third, just because of the high percentage of Ross Trevor, so I'm still up for Teacher Gully. Yeah, the Only down the road, not far to travel. Really, really good teams bounce back, and I'm going to go with Ross Trevor in this one. What I saw impressed me on the weekend, and yeah, they had just so many quality footballers at Ross Trevor. I'm going to go for my nephew's team as well at home. Ross Trevor got all collegians on Campbelltown Oval on Saturday afternoon. Yes, yeah. nepotistic footy tips. Yeah. Well done. Port District and Goodwood Saints, I tell you what, this one. Cracker. Yeah, large yep. reserve. I don't know who to tip in this one. Uh, again, I haven't, I've heard a lot about Port, haven't seen Goodwood. Um, oh, it's tough to be some good matchups as well. Um, I'm going to have Port Districts at home. Very hard to beat at home. I'm going to go for Districts as well. Yeah, Goodwood coming up, uh, Goodwood knocking off, um, sorting off by 14 points, but travel away for the first time. If Port Districts are the real deal, they'll beat them with this week, so I'll take Port Districts. Is that unanimous? Yep, it is. Unanimous. First time. You, you could put all your money <laughs> on the wood now. <laughs> Portland and Adelaide Junior, could this be a battle of the Stellar Daughters? Both teams need mm -hmm. to win, both teams sitting 0 on 2. It's at Port Reserve where Portland played their best footy. I don't know, we've got a bit of a crowd here. Are they nodding? Will Portland get a win this week? Portland yeah, will Portland win this week. Yeah, okay. I'll go um, for Portland because the crowd says so. I'm going to go against the crowd, I'm going to go for you. Okay. okay. Uh, grand final rematch, Sacred Heart versus Painham Hall Junior Dragons at the White Picket Fence, the beautiful oval of Sacred Heart Senior School. This one's tough to tip. Painham Hall Junior. Who won last year at Sacred Heart? I don't know. Don't know, can't remember. I think, I think we beat them both okay, times. I'm going to go with Painham then. Actually, we were 19 and 1, we did lose Sacred Heart. Oh, so. Painham then. Yeah, Painham, uh, the likes. It was good to see Langford bob up with three goals. Be great this week if uh, the umpires could umpire Nick Jolly the same as the other 41 blokes out there. Don't know if that'll happen or not. Gave away six frees, didn't actually touch anyone. But hey, still good about that. He, he gave me a mouthful because Did he? he didn't look after Jolly when the he The umpires are fantastic. Don't, worry, don't get me wrong, but they just for some reason umpire this guy differently because he's bigger than everyone else. Maybe who knows? Wow. But uh, yeah, I'll go. Uh, I'll go Paynham Nor Junior just, and every time I tip them, they lose. So, so you get some cracker games, Salisbury North yeah, versus Henley, exactly next one. And Salisbury North, yeah. And it's only a couple of years ago I was down there and I saw this one uh, when Mickey O'Loughlin played, and Henley were too good that day. Um, I'm not sure. I think Salisbury North, of, uh, I'm on their bandwagon. I think Salisbury it's... North for me, too. You I can get some ground on for Henley. Fair enough. Boys, it was a nice, short, sharp uh, segment. We're trying to keep it under 10 minutes. Thanks for watching the Review and Preview Show. We'll see you next week, dear fans. See you.